Hi Aries, welcome. This is a reading about 2024, an overview reading. So do remember if you change your energy, this energy can change as well, okay? And I've pre-shuffled all of the cards so they are ready to go. So let's see what your overall energies are to begin this reading, okay? Here you have exchanging gifts. And this is not you receiving. This is exchanging, okay? Just want to clarify that. And so this can have a variety of meanings. And that can run the gamut when it comes to positive, negative, and everywhere in between. It depends on what it is. But it can be a beautiful energy. It is not you receiving a gift or you giving a gift, it is an exchange. And that's important to remember. So it could actually say like with your career, say work. You're going into work to provide a service and you're getting paid for that. That's an exchange. But it could be anything. So we'll need more information. Let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is. A tower. That's a really pretty powerful overall energy. Mm -hmm. That is abrupt change. So your overall energy for this year is one of change and quick change, which is really quite interesting and very powerful. It's a major arcana. Now this next energy is people or a person that you're dealing with, that you're allowing in your life, that you're having relationships with in some fashion, whether it be personal, career. And this is a beautiful energy. The Queen of Cups is a mother archetype. It's all about being intuitive, psychic, love, and all she wants to do is help. So it looks like the relationships, as an overall, in your life in 2024, are going to be just beautiful, okay? Very helpful, very loving, wonderful energy. Okay, now, okay. The energy that you're getting for the overall feeling of the year is where you need to make choices and you need to use your intuition to do that. So there could easily be a connection between these two because the Queen of Cups is filled with intuition. And here it's saying you need to go inside and use your intuition to make decisions. All right? And now, a lot of times people feel like because it's the two of swords, that there's two decisions that you need to choose from. That's not necessarily the case. You know, you can make a third. Create your own. But this could be one of you know, not knowing really which way to go. There are going to potentially be multiple paths, or at least more than one. And so you need to go in and use your intuition, and you need to decide which is right for you. Okay? And we're going to clarify that. You have the Two of Cups. This is unconditional love, and you notice they're both twos. So, exchanging gifts you know, tit for tat, so to speak. Here, making a decision on how to go forward and with potential confusion or uncertainty. And re do remember, you can make a third choice. Create your own. And here's unconditional love. It can be romantic, but it certainly doesn't have to be. It's just unconditional love between you and another or others. Normally, it's you and another. And if you look over here at the people you're dealing with or having a relationship with over the year, it's beautiful. So this fits in wonderfully with that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see what the good stuff. Oh, I already shuffled these. I'm trying to do this in a different way this time, and I'm so used to doing it the other way. I like, keep wanting to shuffle, but I did these ahead of time to try to save a little time, okay? Um, the good stuff. Take a chance on love. 
When we love, our lives are changed forever. And this one wanted to come out as well. Choose love. You always have a choice. Make yours with love. So definitely take a chance on love. Choose love. Love is important. And it is part of the good stuff that's coming in for you. Okay, let's see what else we have. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, beautiful. The good stuff. A new beginning in love. With love. Everything about love. Can I be kind of close to say and say, I love this? Wonderful. Okay. Seven of Cups. This is saying that you have choices. But it definitely has to do with love. And if you notice, here's love, here's love, here's love. And this is love. And potentially that could be love. But at any rate, the good stuff. Choose love. Take a chance on love. A new beginning in love. But that you do have choices. So make the choice or choices that are right for you. That definitely is a good stuff column. <laughs> okay. Now let's go on and see challenges, opportunities, possibilities, changes. Oh, and I see, I shuffled. Okay, well, that's all right. Maybe I was just meant to. If... Do let me know if you like this format because you get all the, you know, everything related to the one area at one time instead of me going across. And if you do like that, then I'll try to do it more. But I have to get used to it. I'm so used to doing it the other way. You are good enough. That's very important to know. Okay. It truly is. And you are good enough. The hangman. Take the time to go within and answer the questions that you have. So it's the spiritual side, the intuitive side, right? And here's intuition. Here's intuition. Love, the cups, or intuition. So you have intuition so far kind of following you through. It's important this year for you to use your intuition, all right? And this is saying you're good enough. And so this is saying you need to go inside, use your intuition, your wisdom, because you have questions about this. It's important to realize that you are good enough. And also look at the colors, you know, the same colors. So it's definitely related. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Six of Pentacles. Okay, balance. What you need is going to be provided to you. But it is important for you to bring in the balance, okay? These are the challenges and opportunities. And it's both a challenge and an opportunity, I feel. Because once you realize how truly important you are and how unique you are it's going to bring up so much good stuff the balance will definitely be there okay now let's see your thoughts and desires reflection okay and this can have a few different meanings one is you tend to put out to the world what you have going on inside of you, what you're, you know, portraying. That is one. And the other is very similar. But take time. It's kind of, to me, related to this. Take time to reflect, okay? And realize who you are, how you are. Because I think you're going to find if you really take a good look, that you really are a beautiful person. And I'm not talking about external beauty. That too, you know, could be part of it. But it's as a person, as a soul. 
as a spiritual being. You know, you might find, might very well find, that you're quite beautiful, okay? And so I'd say this is a wonderful thing to do, and I think it's totally related to this. Okay, let's go ahead and get a card for that. Ah, love. The lovers, Major Arcana. And this can say that a romantic relationship could be coming into your life, but it's one of making an important decision. And the important decision, in this case, is realizing who you are and accepting that. And if there's something you need to change, you know, then by all means, change it. But even if you do need to make changes, you still need to see the very good parts of you because they are there, all right? <laughs> yeah, a new beginning in truth. So to me, this is this gives me chills. This is if you go through this process, you are going to be able to use your truth and realize that you are a beautiful person. So I'd say it's a wonderful thing for you to do. And this new beginning is where you're seeing clearly, thinking clearly, using your wisdom, you know, and it can have to do with communication, but also I think it's analyzing in this case what this is about and the conclusions that you're going to come up with. Because I'm sure that you have many beautiful parts, many wonderful attributes, and you need to realize them. All right? Okay. Now, let's get a card for how to go forward. Ah, okay. This is saying between worlds. Embrace the in-between. And the in-between is literally kind of in-between. An example would be, you're quitting one job because you got hired for another job that you would rather have. It's that in-between space. Okay, and it's saying embrace that, make the most of that. And, you know, if you kind of relate it to this, there is a lot of love and self-value here. And even here, exchanging gifts. Here, embrace love, choose love, take a chance on love, a new beginning in love, and the Queen of Cups. So this could be romantic, but also it could be you loving yourself. So right here, how to go forward is embrace this in between. And I think it really comes into play here and here. If you follow this and go through this, you are going to realize that you have so much to offer and that you are very valuable. Okay? Yeah, love it. Okay, this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is, to me, where you come up with this wonderful answer. You embrace the in-between, take the time to evaluate and you come up with a beautiful conclusion that you really are wonderful. Now, this traditionally means, you know, leaving a legacy, having life be such that you can create this beautiful legacy if you choose to. It's where you and those you truly care about are happy, content. So... That is part of this, but I also think this is saying you go through this, you realize you are worth a tremendous amount. Okay, let's get another card. Mm. Yeah, so embrace the in-between. You go in, you realize this is you. And this is a tree of life, right? You are a beautiful person. And here's where you're feeling stuck. This is what you're letting go of. It's gone. Okay. Wow. Totally a personal reading here. And your overall is 
a tower. So it looks like you could be going through a time of challenge, but even though it's challenging, it looks like the result is absolutely beautiful. You know, like you're, you need to go through this to find your value. All right. Now, let's find out the outcome. Yay. Wonderful. You have the emperor. Fabulous. The emperor is so sure of himself. He's very, very powerful. Makes decisions, important ones, all the time. And if you look in this particular image, how comfortable he is. And self-assured. And another thing about this energy I love, he wants to make the world a better place, even if it's one brick at a time. But what, where I'm seeing how this applies is you're coming to the conclusion that you are this beautiful, valuable person. Mm -hmm. And you know it now. And this 2024, it's an overview. And it can, you know, extend out a little in either direction, right? Time's fluid. So this could take a short period of time. It could take most of the year. Don't know. We might get a card with the tea leaf cards that gives us a time frame. However, you know, don't think this is going to take an entire year because it might very well not. This is just kind of like a snapshot of the way things are right now. Okay? Beautiful. And you are going, taking action for love. It can mean having a romantic relationship. Okay? You can. But with everything else here, to me, it seems like it's so much more that you are taking action towards love. The Knight of Cups is all about the love. And it could be self-love. It could be surrounding yourself with things that you love, who you love, what you love. And in this case, but quite potentially, self-love. You know, realizing you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the Ace of Wands. So this is saying a new beginning where you're going for your passion. So... That is three new beginnings now. Here is the beginning of love. I think this is where, you know, maybe this is where some confusion or sorting through things is coming in. Here is where you're realizing, oh, love might be the issue. And here you're figuring it out, what the issue is. And it's very internal. Here you're evaluating it, making the choice. Here, you're going through and coming into the realization of who you really are and letting go of this old, worn-out disbelief or, you know, where you feel stuck and don't feel worthy of whatever it is. And so the conclusion, you're there. You've got it done. you figured it out that you are golden. And here, making the decision that you are going to go for what it is you love. You know, surround yourself with it. Which, here, bringing in this new beginning of going for your passion. So I think this is actually a beautiful reading. It can have its challenges because a lot of it is soul searching, you know, going within. But wow, the outcome's fabulous. And... This would make total sense, you know, involving or the people that you're having in your life during this time, the mother archetype, the one who's filled with love and all they want to do is help, right? So this is one of my cards of your support system. And you might need or want support along the way. And it is going to be here for you. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put this card out here. So now let's go ahead and clarify your overall energy, the tower.
Mm-hmm. Okay. You have the hangman. And right here in the center, you have the hangman. So this is the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said. You really need to go in and take the time to evaluate what's going on. And if you notice, these two are really quite different. Here's one that's an abrupt change. Here's one where you're going in, soul searching, you know, trying to find the answers you're looking for. So try to create a little bit of balance between these two if you can. It will probably help. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because this is quick and hard. This is slow and deliberate. So this could be more like the physical side and this could be more like the spiritual side. So do try to join them so the abrupt change isn't so harsh and so the going within isn't where you just linger, you know. You really go in and answer these questions and continue to move on, all right? And now let's get one for the Queen of Cups, people or persons in your life. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, the world. Okay. This is saying you're getting out of a challenging cycle. You've gone full circle. And you should be proud of yourself. So, uh, one thing to mention is, yes, I have these all in columns, you know, different subjects. But, realistically speaking, they all merge, blend, interlace, right? So this could easily be saying that you are getting out of this challenging cycle. And do be proud of yourself because you're going into an area where this realization is coming to you, the knowledge that you are worth so much. And it can also be that if there's been people in your life that have created or partially created this challenge, they're gone. You're going to have people in your life that are helpful and loving, okay? Wow, what a reading. Mm -hmm. Very, very personal. Life-changing. And it's all about love, perception, who you truly are who you thought you were, you know, it's a big, big year. And something I think I should mention, um, it kind of touches on it here and there, but, you know, you're changing, right? You're letting go of an old cycle, and oftentimes it's one that's challenging, okay? That, what you've been through, can easily be, or could easily be, what put you in this challenging position to begin with. You can only take so much of a negative attitude from somebody or people before it does start to affect you, you know? And when that happens and you have to go in and do a reset, and it takes a little effort. But yeah, according to this, the outcome is fabulous. Okay, so let's see what the universe would like to share. <laughs> you gotta love it. Okay, you have the emperor, so that means you have the emperor twice. This is the universe's way of confirming this. Yes, this is the outcome. You are going to be very empowered, and you're gonna know who you are. You're not that person who you thought you were. You're a beautiful, wonderful, valuable person. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. This is talking about you taking action towards your goal. And I think this is really good because it is the slowest moving night in the deck, which means you're not going to make this mad dash to try to get this done. You're going to take the time you need to take to get it right. You know, cross all your T's, dot all your I's. Time 
isn't the issue. The issue is getting it right. So I love that. Here you have the King of Pentacles. Beautiful. You are going to come out, if you want to say the winner, you're going to come out on top. Kings are powerful. They've been through a lot. That's how they got to this position. And this is one that's very earthy. And it's one that has a Midas touch, by the way. So what you touch turns to gold, right? It's going to be an energy of where you are going to be so self-assured, so confident in who you are. And of course, it could be very financially um, good for you. And here, this is financially wonderful. But speaking about the topic that seems to be, you know, wanting to pop up, you are going to feel very comfortable with who you are, truly who you are. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Wands, which is saying that you want to get this started. You're really passionate about it. You want to get it going. And I could definitely understand this. If you have self-doubt, etc., you know, and I could see that in here, the challenges, if that's going on, and you know you have the opportunity to totally change it, I can see how you would want to get it started now. Mm -hmm. And like I said, this overall energy is one of the tower, which is abrupt change. And I, what I'm thinking about this, because it's with the um, hanged man, both of those are major arcana, right? So it's an important position here. What I'm thinking is, it's kind of a division. Here's the tower, right here that i got to make this change. I've got to do it. I cannot stay in this energy. And I think this transforms to this. I do not think you stay in this tower energy. No. It's what? It's the catalyst for change. How's that? It's what's driving you to make the change. And this is what you go into to complete it. Okay. Now, let's get an angel card. Unlikely, yeah, very unlikely that you are going to be staying in this energy. No, you are making the changes that you need to make. And here's compromise, okay? And I can see where you're going to need to compromise because this is a huge shift from being very down on yourself to realizing that you are are awesome. So you're going to have to have balance as you go through this, okay? The unlikely, it's unlikely you're going to stay in this, unless you choose to, but it's unlikely because you have this beautiful progression into knowing how valuable you are. The compromise, I think, comes in where you realize, okay, I've got to do this thing. You know, I want my beautiful self. And if it got lost in a prior cycle, you know, it would be, I want my beautiful self back. So I think that's what that's all about. Okay, now let's get a few tea leaf cards. And these can be confirmation. The way I am seeing these mostly, not 100%, but mostly, are little things that can come up over the year. You know, the year is kind of a long time. So things that might pop up, confirmations, maybe things to pay attention to. And something very interesting, just as a side note to notice, normally when I take these, 
tea leaf cards, they just pop out like crazy all over. <laughs> and I am finding out that they're not doing that for these yearly readings. I think they did it for one, maybe two, but they're not. Just not popping out like that. Pale. Time to get out of a situation. Very, very true, and I think very accurate. And here, this is talking about dealings with or relationship with a woman. And here, you have this Queen of Cups. And so this might be a very important relationship because that might be somebody that really helps to guide you through this process. You know, it could be a mother figure, it could be a therapist, it could be a friend, but it is a female, a feminine energy. This one would have come out. That one would have come out. Okay. Wow. Okay, so they're starting to come out. All right, that's it. All right. This came out first, I believe. Cat. A two-faced friend. For me, I would see this as being early on. Maybe that's where the disbelief or um, where you started having challenges, you know, with yourself, self-esteem, self-confidence, self-love. You have September. So this could potentially say that this process will be completed by September. Here you have Teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. And if this woman is one who helps you through this, I would say that's who this deep friendship would be with. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck you have Ant. Work, achievement, success. So you put in the work, you get the achievement, you're successful. So it is beautiful in that probably somewhere around September, maybe before, maybe a little after, but I get the feeling probably maybe a little before you are going to be the new you. Okay, let's get some charms to close this out. And, um, you know, mind you, this might only apply to a few people. But, I, you know, I'm doing the readings as they come. So this might be something that somebody really needs to hear. Okay? Here, put this right here. You have leaves, and that means growth. So you're going to be changing and growing into this. Okay. Baby buggy. What this means is um, something that's extremely important to you. And the baby buggy for me, you know, when you have a baby, how important they are, right? Probably nothing's more important or precious than that. So this is going to be that kind of, um, have that kind of importance to you, which is understandable. You have to live with you, and you want to believe in yourself and know who you really are, not who somebody tried to convince you that you were. And... It's a this is a floor fan, but for me, okay, this is like a compass. To me it looks like a compass. And so for me, this is you finding your true north, which is mean which means finding your real self. Okay. Thank you so much. I really hope this helps. And if you like this reading, find value in it, please give it a like, share. If you feel that that would help somebody and um, subscribe if you would like to be notified of further videos. Okay. Have a wonderful 2024. Much love. Bye.